Today we're talking head gaskets and cracked heads and blocks because we have a perfect example of a vehicle that has a blown head gasket and we just pulled this vehicle into the shop and replaced the engine with a used engine. We got this used engine out of the silver truck. Uh, the truck had been wrecked, which is normally a pretty good indication that the engine is good if the truck's been wrecked because uh, a lot of cars end up in the junkyard with bad engines. So normally if you find a vehicle that's wrecked, uh, you can kind of take a chance on it because the engine will normally be good. But in this case, it wasn't. So we ended up having to do a lot of work. We put this used engine in this 99 Ford F-150. Uh, this is a 4.6 engine. And we were trying to save the person that owns this vehicle a little bit of money and put a used engine in as we normally do. And it just turned out that it didn't go well for us. So while I had this video in the shop and I can show you a surefire way of how to spot a blown head gasket, I wanna go ahead and do this video. First of all, head gaskets blow all the time. Cylinders, uh, cylinder heads can crack, blocks can crack uh, if it's severe enough. So the biggest cause of blown head gaskets is going to be overheating the engine and the head gasket is the weakest link in between the head and the block. And the head gasket will develop a crack or a channel in it, and it can leak combustion uh, fumes and gases into the oiling or the cooling system. Uh, they can also, the head gasket can blow in between cylinders and cause low compression on two neighboring cylinders. So if you have a misfire on neighboring cylinders, um, then maybe that could be a good candidate for a compression test to see if you have a blown head gasket. Other signs of head gasket failure are going to be the milkshake that you get, uh, the milkshake or what we call peanut butter that we get in the cooling system because the oil will flow into the cooling system. Oil and water don't mix, it becomes a big frothy mess. So uh, if you have a, a brownish, tannish color foam or uh, sludge on your dipstick or your oil cap, that could be from a blown head gasket. Uh, also, if you have blown head gasket, a lot of times you will get a steam that's coming out of your exhaust pipe. It's going to be more or less uh, like a white smoke, but on further examination, you'll see that it's actually water vapor coming from the coolant boiling in the combustion chamber. So the coolant can get into the combustion chamber, and of course, when the combustion chamber gets hot, it's going to take that coolant and boil it and put it into the exhaust system. This can also damage catalytic converters and oxygen sensors. So if you have a blown head gasket vehicle, you might want to go ahead and think about replacing your catalytic converter and your oxygen sensors just as a precaution. So on this vehicle, what we ended up getting was a compression leak to the cooling system. So if you have this happen, you're going to get the the uh, cooling system can overpressurize or build up pressure and possibly pop the uh, radiator cap safety. Or you can just get general overheating where the exhaust gases go directly into the cooling system. And of course, that's going to overheat the engine very quickly. So within the first two minutes of us cranking up this vehicle, we found out that the head gaskets are wrong. And I'm going to show you how. There are other ways to tell how a head gasket is blown. We can do this by chemical testing using a special chemical that will change colors if it detects hydrocarbons or unburnt fuel coming into the cooling system. And there's also, we can use a five gas analyzer and hold the probe over the radiator or the expansion tank. And if we're picking up heavy levels of carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons, that's gonna tell us that we're getting exhaust gases going directly into the cooling system. So let me crank up this vehicle and show you what it's doing. Okay, so this is the coolant bottle. This is about the best angle I could get right here, but you'll see the water level will start rising. You'll start seeing air bubbles. And after I crank the vehicle up, I'm gonna pull the camera off the tripod and I'll pull it up closer to where you can see it. Let me go ahead and crank this up.
methane gases that is causing that. So yeah, that is basically compression that is going into this system. And as you see, as we turn the, the vehicle off, and it was hard to crank because once we turn the vehicle off, that coolant will actually seep into the cylinder head and cause the cylinder to drag down a little bit when we try to crank it up. So this is a, you know, a major cylinder head, uh, either crack, block crack, or head gasket uh, leak directly into the combustion chamber. Okay, this is a cylinder head. This is off of a Ford 3 liter, but, and these blow bad all the time. If you've ever uh, dealt with Ford and their 3 liter on their Ranger engines, these are really bad. So, this are, are the coolant jackets where coolant comes through into the cylinder head and cools off. And of course, these are your combustion chambers right in here. So, if the head gasket blows in between here, then of course we can have a problem with combustion gases going in. And then of course, when we shut the vehicle off, um, high pressure is going to go to low pressure so if my cooling system is still pressurized then that coolant is going to go through back here and fill up the cylinder with coolant so when you crank it up a lot of times you'll have a big puff of white smoke uh, which is actually steam uh, but also we can have cracks in between here and it will, it will basically kill both of these cylinders because you won't be able to develop enough compression for combustion We've also seen cracks in cylinder heads in between valves cause dead cylinders, of course, or cracks in blocks in between cylinders or into water jackets, and really nothing's going to fix that except for a new block or, of course, a new engine. So um, some, some engines, not this one, but some engines have pressurized oil passages that go through to lubricate the top end, especially your engines that have overhead cams. And if it cracks there, then you get, that's where you get the milkshake or the, the oil and the water mixture. And a lot of times, you know, you'll have to flush out the radiator and uh, clean out your hoses and everything before you go and repair that problem or it's just going to cause more problems. So remember, whenever you have a blown head gasket, you have to flush out the coolant system after repair and you have to change your oil if you're just doing the head gaskets. So that's very important as well. Okay guys, so that's all I got for you today on head gaskets and cylinder head sealing issues. So if you've had any of these problems, leave me a comment, let me know what it took to fix the vehicle. Also, if you can, just give this video a like if it's taught you anything, and of course, subscribe to the channel for the best of content. And we'll see you next time.